Hello, I am Dr. Richard Neville, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about podiatry and vascular surgery. The Society for Vascular Surgery and the American Podiatric Medical Association recently announced an historic collaborative effort to save limbs. This exciting collaboration will combine the expertise of podiatrists and vascular surgeons to benefit patients with critical limb ischemia, especially those individuals with diabetes. Given the fact that almost 100,000 limbs in the U.S. alone are lost each year to the ravages of diabetes and about a million worldwide, this collaboration between the vascular surgery and podiatric communities is of tremendous importance. It will provide a platform to mutually advance the efforts of both groups and improve care for those patients with a threatened limb. Founded in 1912, the American Podiatric Medical Association has a membership of about 12 thousand podiatrists. The Society for Vascular Surgery, founded in 1947, has a membership of around 3,000 vascular surgeons. Although several podiatrists and vascular surgeons have already forged individual alliances in the past, all too often these two groups of experts have functioned without drawing on the talents that the other group can offer. However, it has become increasingly clear that a coordinated, multidisciplinary team approach to the patient with critical limb ischemia, especially in the diabetic population, can save limbs that might otherwise be lost. I have had the opportunity to witness this firsthand in our limb center and had the good fortune to work in close coordination with an outstanding podiatrist, Dr. John Steinberg. I think John would agree that we have both learned invaluable insights from each other, whether discussing a particular patient or a new therapeutic option from either field. It is gratifying to restore circulation to the lower extremity with the knowledge that expertise in wound care and foot biomechanics will maximize limb salvage. I have no doubt this collaborative effort has saved limbs, streamlined care, and improved patient satisfaction. The collaboration between the SVS and the APMA aims to formalize this partnership and popularize the team approach. Initial steps will include a joint statement on the multidisciplinary team approach to the care of the diabetic foot, with production of a supplement that will be jointly published in the Journal of Vascular Surgery and the Journal of the American Podiatric Medical Association. Joint postgraduate courses will be held at the scientific meetings of both organizations. Finally, this collaboration will provide a more powerful voice for advocacy and public awareness. I look forward to this exciting new initiative. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.